Morning. Oh, you born in a barn? Oh, hiya. Yeah. Is Trisha in? No, no, she took herself off into town first thing. Oh, did she say why at all? No, but as if I didn't know. There's a new shoe shop on the high street, isn't there? Should we spend any money we haven't got as usual? <laughs> That'll be it. <laughs> Flaming kids! I'll wring their necks. April Fools! <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> My ribs are cracking! <laughs> I'll get you back for this. Ooh! Hey! Trisha! Any sign of movement? Steph, I mean, had she made an appearance yet? Not that I know of. Self-incarceration is not the answer. A positive mental attitude, that's all it takes. I thought you hated her guts. Self-improvement teaches us to think more rationally. Now, loathing Seth isn't going to help my marriage, is it? No, but he was standing there preaching like some weirdo. <laughs> oh, I'm sensing some kind of inner turmoil here. I'd be very happy to run you through some very simple relaxation exercises. Get a life here. There's just no hope for some. So, Diane, <clears throat> didn't hear you come home last night. Sorry to disappoint you both, but I was tucked up in my own bed by midnight. Oh, better luck next time, eh? Right, I finished bottling up. Uh, how about a nip to the cash and carry? I thought you were spending the day with Viv and her self help group. Yeah, well, how can I if I'm at the cash and carry? Nice try, Bob. Well, we talked. Laughed a lot. And? And? And then I came home. Hmm. Well, what did you expect me to say? Jack was wild and tempestuous and we thrashed about passionately on the kitchen table. Yeah, you're right. We are talking about Jack here. He may not be Patrick Swayze, but there's more to Jack than meets the eye. Ooh. Bob! Hiya, babe. How's the self-help group going? Oh, fine, thanks. With any luck, Bob should be out of your hair soon. <laughs> All set! Right, that's the curtain rail done. Get that radio fixed while I'm at it. Edna? Edna? Uh, no! <laughs> For one hour one minute there, I thought you'd... It's only a headache. And I thank you not to take the Lord's name in vain. Well, I know what you need. Heir of the dog. It is not a hangover. Would you fetch me a packet of aspirins, please? I think I can stretch to that, Edna. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> and I'd rather we kept my delicate state to ourselves. I want to get back. I'll rustle us up some food, eh? Good fry up. That'll put you back on your feet. Look. Wilderness weekends for the bold and adventurous. Who do we know like that then? Us. <laughs> Orienteering, canoeing, underground exploration, rock scrambling. What's rock scrambling? Uh, like rock climbing, usually without the aid of a rope. Well, we can give that one a miss, can't we? Come on, what do you say? It would be a surprise for Debbie. I don't think it's Debbie's sort of thing. Oh, come on, Emily, we'll have a blast! Just give us a nod and I'll book it. You won't regret this. Here's a packet of your cheapest aspirins, please, Emily. Feeling really under the weather? Not me, no, Edna. <laughs> I'm over, I she. Don't surprise me, there's no stop it, woman, once them cogs get a bit of oil. That doesn't sound like Edna. <sighs> exactly. He got Edna ratted, against her will. You're talking like I prized the mouth open and poured it down. Well, as good as. I'm an hour sheet to know your ginger beer were lethal, eh? Well, I didn't before it were too late. The scout's on her. I believe you. Who are you, any road? A mother? I'm just looking out for a friend. Well, keep me in suspense. I haven't done it yet. I dare. Oh, why not? Because I'm still not sure whether I want it to be positive or not. Right. Go and do it now. Oh, look. 
Mr. Selina. That's her story. Did she commit adultery as well? No. But she was thinking about it until yesterday. Morning, all. Morning. Morning. Before we make a start today, I'd like to introduce a new face. This is Bob, Viv's wronged husband. Perhaps you'd like to tell everybody why you're here. Brute force, I suppose. <gasps> well, you'll be pleased to know that Viv made positive progress yesterday. I told you. Now, I know Selina is very eager to share something with us. Well, you know how I can't bear to be in the same room as my husband when he eats. Well, thanks to my relaxation routine, last night, I managed to sit out an entire bag of crisps. My extensions are falling out. Hello? Hmm? Uh, I told you they didn't last forever. No, but a tattoo would though, wouldn't it? What do you reckon? Uh, how about we liven up your hair some more? See where we go from there. Okay, but about my tattoo. Shoulder, hip or ankle? Oh, I don't think your mum and dad would like it. Bob's not my dad. And mum might as well not be my mum these days. Anyway, don't give us stuff what they think. Point taken. How about something eye-catching but less permanent? I'll show you. Ah. Well, is that a yes look or a no look? More of a... Whoops, I dropped it down the toilet, look. <laughs> ain't funny. <laughs> Dopey. What now? Well, how come? That's the chemist. Come on, let's get another one. You've just had your lunch. Well, I'm still hungry. I put an apple in your bag. <gasps> well, what about these? It says vitamin C, look. What if I pay for them? give you that? No, Chris. I'm gonna buy charity a present with the rest. She's having a tennis court done up, you know. Is she? Which means I'll be able to play every day during the holiday. <laughs> you want to the bus stop? Yeah. Great. See ya. What about your apple? Trish? Hello? Terence Woods, you. Breathing deeply all the way from the diaphragm. Are you all visualizing that special place? And open your eyes again. Well, at least look as if you want to be here. How's that? Now, are we all feeling nice and relaxed? Mm. OK. Well, let's kick off with a group summary. Who'd like to start? I'll go first. Viv, what do you feel you gained from yesterday's session? Well, lots of things. I mean, <laughs> look who's sitting beside me. <laughs> but uh, Bob was very sceptical when I started talking about my issues, but... But it was a step in the right direction. Why? Because... Honesty is half the healing. Right. We've already established that Viv's low self-esteem drove her to seek solace with a limo driver. Now we have to revive that self-esteem and set her marriage on the road to recovery. Yes, please. <laughs> I want you to close your eyes and repeat after me. I must learn to love myself. I must learn to love myself. Don't hold back. Let the positive energy flow. Say it like you mean it. Again. I must learn to love myself. Good. To love yourself, you must forgive yourself. I forgive myself! I'm sorry, that is just about as much rubbish as I can take. This has got nothing to do with Viv forgiving herself. It's all about me forgiving her. Comments? Anybody? I'm seeing a lot of anger in Bob, too. Yeah, but that's because I'm absolutely raging! 
So what? It's better than having me stuck in the clouds like you lot. Fifth's infidelity has got nothing to do with low esteem or any other stupid lame excuse for that matter. My wife slept with someone else because I am not enough. There. How's that for honesty for you? No! Haven't you heard what Heather said? Make him understand. Don't you understand that this has turned my whole life upside down? I, I, I can't even look at you without imagining that limo driver with his hands all over you. All you can do is rant about your self-esteem. What about my self-esteem? Anger management can save you too, Bob. It already has, thanks, love. You know, you were right, Viv. Today has been a real eye-opener. I can see a lot more clearly already, thank you. Bob. Give up on me now. Not after you promise to try and salvage our marriage. You're just not getting this, are you? Well, I am trying to. I want to make it right. Y you really were the only one for me, Viv. Do you know how I know? Three failed marriages, and yet I have never felt pain like this. None of them came close to crushing me as you have. I can still be the one. I mean, I haven't changed. Look, it's still me. No, but maybe I have. What are you trying to say? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. I, I hate you for this! But you still do love me. You betrayed me in the worst possible way. Please tell me there's some hope. Whatever it is that I feel, Viv, I, I don't know that it's ever going to be enough. Off out. I might nip for a pint later. Hey, there's something I kept meaning to ask you. Uh, do you remember when you and Andy set me up on that blind date for my birthday? And it turned out to be Diane? Well, why Diane? You complaining? I'm just curious. I mean, did she ever say anything to you about me? Such as? Well, I don't know. Oh, forget it. I mean, did she put the idea into your heads, or were you and Andy just having a laugh? Let into a little secret, shall I? Yeah, go on. Diane wasn't our original choice. You see, we did ask Edna, but she was washing her hat. <laughs> <laughs> you know that aftershave I got you for Christmas? Yeah, my bedroom. Right. Mm. I keep telling myself, we're just great mates. And then I find myself analysing conversations and looking for subtexts that don't exist. Like when he makes a point of telling me how much he enjoys my company. Is he really saying I like you more than a friend? That's where you're going wrong, you see. Is it? Yeah. You're doing all that, but you're missing the obvious. Which is the all-important spark between you and Jack. All my sparks fizzled out years ago. Diane, you see what I mean? You're as blind as a bat. The spark is definitely there. <laughs> Tell me, mate, I need to talk. Uh, Surgeon, I'm beside myself. What's up? I found this in the living room. Where's Trisha? I mean, you need to talk to her about it first. Darry, she might be pregnant. Well, I can see that, but uh, she might not be. <laughs> nice try, but you can't kid a kidder. <laughs> can't you? Oh, you've been rumbled, Terry, mate. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not with you. I'm lost. Um, is Trisha pregnant or not? I mean, you, did, you didn't put... To, to get me back for the... I oh, were planning on putting a sheep in your bed. Sheep? I'll, uh, I'll get you a whiskey. 
Diane. Emily, you know, that activity weekend we were talking about completely booked up over Easter. I've got a better idea. Have you? Why don't we go away for a fortnight instead? Somewhere nice for Debbie. Two weeks. It's not as simple as a weekend, though, is it? Why not? Well, we'd have to get the nod from social services for a start. So I'll ring Bill and I'll find out where we stand. And it's not fair on Zoe at such short notice. You can get another law come in. Well, I suppose so. What's brought all this on all of a sudden? Anyway, this morning I couldn't even persuade you to go away for a weekend. I just fancy doing something nice for Debbie. Well, it's a really lovely thought, Emily, but I'm just not sure that now's the right time. Not when Debbie and Charity are starting to make headway. You're right. Cheer up. We're still not giving up on this weekend yet. You've got to be kidding. Oh, I suppose this is dead weird in your eyes. What time's your mum due back? I might stick it around for the fireworks. I don't care what she thinks, so get over it. Bob, wait! Ta. It's not the end of the world if she is pregnant. Marlon. I know. Well, why are you standing there like you've just ruined a royal banquet? Emma, we, we, we talked about starting a family sooner or later. Yeah, well, you just reckoned it would be later. I should have guessed something was the matter the way she was acting yesterday. Well, look, isn't this all a bit premature? I mean, we don't know if she's pregnant or not. She is. I know it. I, I don't know how I just do. She's, it's like a paternal intuition. Well, get that down your neck and go home and wait on Trisha. Who'd have thought it, Terry? Dad. <laughs> Come back! I refuse to discuss this in the streets. Get back inside, Viv. It will work. I know it can. How can that be when a marriage is based on trust? But you can trust me. Look, you're the only man I want. I know that now more than ever. Yeah, but you had to sleep with another man to find it out. Give me one last chance. That's all I ask. I will not go anywhere without you until you learn to trust me again. Listen to yourself, Viv. Went well, then. I'll even chain myself to a lamppost until you see sense. Mom! My God! What have you done to your face? See you later. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. Please tell me that's fake. Well, if it makes you feel better, but I'd be lying. Right, get rid of it. Now. No. Bob! I can't do this, not now. Oh, that's right. Leave me to deal with it on my own, as usual. I'm sorry, love. You know where I am if you need me. And then why should I expect you to stick up for me now? Oh, nice one, Mum. You've just managed to muck up what hope you had of Bob ever coming back. You're looking for this by any chance. Before you say anything, I'm not pregnant. It was a false alarm after all. <laughs> oh. Diane, time proved me right. Get the subtext, go with the spark. Evening. Hi. Usual, is it? Uh, yes, please. Something different about you tonight. I thought I'd wear a different colour lipstick for a change. It yeah, suits you. But not that the other one didn't. Is that a new aftershave? Yeah, I think I might have done it a bit. <laughs> thought I'd pop in for a bite to eat. Save slaving over a stove. Yeah. Actually, Diane, there is another reason why I came in. I had a really smashing time last night. Me too. And I know we didn't do anything wildly exciting, but Mike... Don't ask! I wasn't about to! Look, I'll clean that up in a minute, OK? Take your time. Jack, would it be easier if we went through the back? Oh, forget it. It wasn't important, so I think I'll just... Um... much of an appetite for some reason. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> it's funny, I've thought I'd be eating for two now. I can't even manage for one. <laughs> Did you really think I'd go up if you were pregnant? Yeah. But 
It's not a criticism or anything like that. It's just I know how serious you are about planning ahead and us being financially stable. Yeah. Still, you should have told me. I know. How many more times am I meant to say I'm sorry? Besides, you should be relieved, if anything. Are you? Counting me blessings. Why, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, why do we want a sprog coming along spoiling things before we've even got the un honeymoon photos developed? Exactly. <laughs> we should be celebrating. I'll go and open a bottle of wine. So we need someone to chair Thursday night's committee meeting in Ashley's absence. Well, I'd be the obvious choice, of course, but I've not been feeling myself. Well, you've a couple of days to get over your hangover. Who's been spreading malicious rumours about me? I'm saying nothing. Will you chair the committee meeting or not? Perhaps I sent out the wrong signals. No, it's not that. Oh, why is he blanking me all of a sudden? Jarvis. You've been around for a while. You must be feeling settled now. Often feels like a lifetime. Yeah, I know what you mean. So how do you feel about coming to Thursday night's committee meeting? I completely object. Oh, little Miss Imperious. Take a seat. How's your head? Prospective members must be voted in. Says who? I do, by decree as acting chairperson. Can't beat a good clean vote. Thursday night it is. Dan. How do you feel about the permanent lodger? How permanent? Well, just till I can afford my own bachelor pad. You're not seriously telling me it's over? How can you love and hate someone at the same time? Sounds like most marriages I've known. No, not this one. All I ever did was love that woman. What do you want, Viv? Oh, I, I planned on spending the rest of my life with her. And you'd do anything to get that feeling back? Yeah, I would, yeah. Sounds to me like it's worth fighting for. I'm not sure that I know how to forgive her. If this was your one true shot at happiness, find a way. Or you'll spend the rest of your life regretting it. Yeah.